Hi, everyone, and welcome to the call today. I'm very excited to be offering here in Agora a new product that I think is very, very needed. And Michelle with Akawa, you know, you know her from Revelio, but this is very exciting because in today's call, we're going to be introducing um, the ability for you to sell apps and software development. So, for example, there's a lot of people that need apps or they need, like, software developed for, like, their back office. And if you look at Agora, we actually have a lot of software development going on, even on our website. We've probably spent well over $100,000 just in developing different features, different uh, special things that we need to operate in here. So we have um, our developers develop that. And so when we were talking with Michelle and she does Revealio, and uh, they developed that whole app. She said, Vince, I have a whole team of people, and we're offering this now in case someone wants to develop an app or needs software development. I also have another deal that I'm working on that came about last year, and uh, it's for a doctor's office, and they have some development they need done. And that project is uh, anywhere between eighty dollars to $120,000, and we're looking at closing that deal here in this near future of this year. So there there can be some really, really big deals. This is something very, very needed. And if you haven't heard of it, this will open your eyes. Uh, a lot of software companies don't even share uh, any commissions in it. So they've been very generous in what they offer and uh, more above than even industry standard. A lot of people, they just refer someone over to a company and there's no commission involved. So for us to get some commissions in here and be able to pick up some of these really large jobs, you never know what you're going to run into, what's out there. Uh, software development apps are a very big deal and very needed, and you're going to run across that as a sales rep out there. So with that being said, Michelle, thank you for being on the call. I'm going to hand this over to you. Thank you for being a part of this. You are very welcome, Vince. Um, my name is Michelle Calloway. I'm the CEO of a company called Revealio. It means to reveal something magically, and the reason we came up with that name is because when we first got started, we were in the augmented reality technology space, and I want to share with you just a real quick, because for those of you who may have not been on the call last week, we also offer this as a service inside of Agora. So the, um, sorry, I went to Revealio.com, and here we have a video. I'm sorry, I'm going to play this video of, oh, that's not it. Sorry, <laughs> I thought I had all this queued up. Bummer. Um, let me just refresh this, because this is what Revealio, this is our key signature. <laughs> oh, I, you got to just love technology, right? Okay, so this is, <laughs> this technology here, augmented reality, what it does is it overlays virtual content on top of a physical object. Like you see here in this image, there is a video that actually plays on this bottle when it's viewed through our Revealio app. So when we first got started, we did this technology with something like business cards, promotional items, wedding invitations. And as we were doing this, let me see if I can just get this to work. I want to show you guys, for those of you who have not seen it, it's pretty darn cool. And this is something that you can sell in Agora. It's where you can make promotional items come alive. See, something like a physical card comes alive with a video overlay that actually tracks on top of the image. And then those called action buttons that you see in the mobile device there drive people to make that online conversion instantly while they're all captivated because of the fact you made it come alive. So we're able to take that same augmented reality technology and we created it so that wine labels come alive. And that's what you see here. So that's how we kind of got our start in the technology space. We go into the augmented reality um, space specifically. But then as we were developing all these augmented reality tools, providing business owners the ability to market themselves in fresh, edgy ways and make them come alive like that with augmented reality, we got so many requests for people to um, have us help them create a custom solution for them. They loved what Revealio had built, but they wanted to build something specifically for their company. So that is why we ended up expanding at the end of 2018. We ended up expanding into software development services. And so from software development services, we have, let me go to our little Agora page. You see on Agora that we, underneath apps and software development, you see the, the three key players. This is my husband. He's the president, Jerry Bowden. We are a veteran, service-disabled, veteran-owned company and minority-owned company, women-led, 
that's me, the CEO, and then this is our CTO, which is our Chief Technology Officer, and he brings with him the 20 years of um, development and program management experience to the team. When you click on that, you're going to land on our open page here, and you're going to see a little bit about what we do. We eliminate your frustration. So when we think of software development, I don't want you to think of only brand new building, like developing something brand thinking new. Sometimes in the world of software development, like what Vince was saying, we can come in and we could potentially take away a lot of pain and points that you may be having um, within your existing system. So if your systems aren't communicating properly or you know you could be far more efficient with your systems, if they could just communicate better with one another, we could come in and do an assessment and perhaps improve your integration. Um, sometimes your different systems, they have what they call APIs or the ability to communicate with one another, but it doesn't communicate exactly the way your particular business model needs it to communicate. We can perhaps come in and either tweak an API or add to an API within your back end. So we could really reduce your frustration and increase your efficiency. And in that sense, we, our tagline is that we make your business come alive because we really remove a lot of the barriers. Plus, we also offer this amazingly cool new technology called augmented reality, which is a beautiful, new, fresh, edgy way to market your business. So this is what you're going to see inside of Agora. Down here, it talks a little bit about what we do. We broke it down into three categories. Mobile development, and that includes native, iOS, and Android. And we also do cross-platform design, which is um, the progressive web apps are becoming quite popular these days because they cost less money to develop. They don't require an actual physical app to be downloaded on a mobile, but they work and look and feel very much like an actual native app, but they're being fed from the web. And then also, obviously, we offer UI, UX design, which that, that means is user interface, like the visual graphics, and the workflow for the user. That's all UI, UX design. Um, we take pride in being the innovative company, and so when we look at what you're asking us to possibly build, we will just follow your lead only. We always will provide a little bit of input on perhaps how we can build it to be more innovative or more um, longer lasting. So you don't want to build something today that in two months' time is going to be outdated already. So we will always come to you with suggestions on how we could perhaps build it in a way that's going to make it work your while longer, you know, um, last through what we can perceive what the trends are in the technology space. So that's the beautiful thing about Revelio. We are very innovative and we're a very heart-centered company. We call ourselves the tech with heart company. We actually really do care very deeply about the success for our clients. And we also are very transparent. We um, provide excellent customer service. This, if you're shopping for a technology company to perhaps help you, we are, I can pri and take pride in the fact that I can tell you that we are a company you can honestly trust. We are very open with our communications and very transparent. And um, we also want to make sure that you understand what's happening and you're not just spending money. You know, you're actually seeing the process work itself through. It's kind of like building a house a bit. If you're to think about that, when somebody comes to us with a project per se, they say, um, I want to build blah, 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 and they say whatever it is. So, like, if somebody were to come to a builder and say, I want to build a three-bedroom house with a two-car garage, and that's all they share with us, then obviously that leaves us lacking a tremendous amount of information, and it's hard for us to know how to move forward. So we work really hard with you to pull out of you what we need. I'm going to talk about what the process is as far as moving forward with us and um, coming to the table with a project and then what the steps are from there. Um, but I wanted to share a little bit about what we do first. So in the world of web, one is think beyond just web design, which a lot of people are out there. They provide web design services, and that's fantastic. Pretty much everybody should have some sort of a web presence with your business. But we are the more of the actual coders, the ones who can go beyond what a typical web designer might be able to perform for you. So again, we can build API integrations if they don't already exist. We uh, provide enterprise solutions, so the whole kit and caboodle, like my business, I know Vince said he spent a lot of money building out some solutions for his marketplace. 
sometimes there are no pre-existing solutions that you can just go purchase for a monthly fee in order for your business model to thrive online. So we could potentially be that company that can build those enterprise solutions for you. And then also we can do e-commerce web design pretty simply. That's something we've done again and again and again. And beyond that, we also do support and testing. If you know of anybody that needs any assistance with just testing out what they what they believe that they've built and they're getting ready to, to actually put it out there and deploy, and they need somebody to come in and do some testing, we can help with that as well. And you all, all can make commissions off of these services that we offer. When it comes to emerging technology, I spoke to you a little bit about augmented reality, but we also can tap into artificial intelligence very easily. There are a lot of really efficient things that can be done that could really scale your business quickly by just incorporating artificial intelligence or machine learning into it. So if you know of somebody or you yourself need a project built, um, we can discuss whether or not artificial intelligence can play a very vital role in the success of that model. And obviously blockchain is something, if you don't know about blockchain, um, that's quickly becoming something that uh, is going to, I think, take over our economy at some point in time in the future. Let me go back here to um, the About tab. You'll see here that we are uh, we are providing you with like a visual, quick visual of the different services that we offer that I just went over. Um, we've got the web, the e-commerce, um, the API integration. That's a very big one there. Mobile app development and support testing and then artificial intelligence. So this is like our little wheel of services that we offer. Let me go in here and see what is this. Okay, so if you wanted to, um, we're going to feed this into the Agora website, but if you click on mobile development, you can see some of the web, uh, mobile apps that we've built. Um, again, I told you that our CTO, um, Alex, he is new to our um, team and he has provided this as his own build. So we're putting this in our portfolio, and then we have these other two apps that Revealio has built. This is a greeting card augmented reality app where you can build your own greeting card from the comfort of your own chair, add your photo, add a video so that when the card is received, the printed card is received by the um, recipient, it comes alive with a personalized message from you. And this one here is our recent B2B app that is uh, for sale within Agora as well as a service as a marketing tool. It's under disruptive marketing. So this is like if you um, wanted to, you can learn a little bit more about the product and what we built. If you click on here, a little video will pop up that you can see. But um, for the sake of time, I just want to make sure that we um, show you that we do have some portfolio pieces built in here. So let's talk about what it takes to actually develop a software project. And it could be a mobile app project. It could be, like I said, an API or, or somebody to come in and, and maybe fix something that's broken in your system. Um, we're like, we're like when you find a, a good quality mechanic, you know, and you, you feel like, oh, wow, I finally found somebody that's actually good at what they do and there's somebody that I can trust, you, you feel very comfortable knowing that you could go to them again and again and again. They're not necessarily building you a car, but they could, they're going to be there when things break. So we are the company that can do that for uh, you and your customers as well, as we can indeed build new content. On the Agora website here, under Forms, if you click here, the very first part of the process to work with us is to come to the table with your idea and have your idea be flushed out as much as possible with as much detail as you can possibly gather. When you click here, you're going to be taken to what we call our intake form, Revealio Software Development Inquiry. This is going to give us a real quick general gist of what it is you're looking to do. This helps us before we even meet with you for our first consultation and gives us an idea of what type of project are we looking at doing? Are we talking about a new project or looking at a pre-existing solution? And then we want to know from you what your expectations are. So once you submit that, then we start um, reaching out to you to set up a consultation call. Once that consultation call um, takes place, we learn a little bit more about what you have as far as project-wise. Do you have just a great idea, or do you have a great idea with having done some serious homework and now you understand more about what it is you want? 
I spoke earlier about how software development is very similar to building a house. If you come to us and say, I want to build a three-bedroom house with two-car garage, if you think about that for a second, that gives us an indication of what you want the end result to look like, but it doesn't really give us enough information to be able to go forward with doing an assessment. You know, where where do you want this this house to be, and, and what kind of a lot are we building on, and do you want the garage to be in the front or in the back? I mean, there's just so many questions that go from there. So the first consultation we have from you, we learn as much as we can from you. The more information you bring to the table to help us understand all of the requirements that you want really helps the process out. And if you know you want something built, but you don't have the capability within yourself or your client doesn't to flush all those details out, the next best thing that you can do to provide us with is an example of what you have seen that's already built the way that you want this new thing to be built for you. That also gives us a better guide as to what we what it is you're looking for, and we can analyze that and figure out how to go and build something like that for you. So sometimes the, we are, require a second consultation. The first consultation will be to just get to, you know get to know you, meet everybody, discuss what needs to be built. If needed, we come back with a second consultation to go into even more detail. And then from there, we do our best to gather all of the requirements that you're asking or your client is asking to be built. And then we, from there, will take all of that information and create a scope of work or an assessment. Sometimes assessments are pretty detailed. So uh, just so you are a clued in, sometimes we even have to charge for an assessment because it's going to take quite a few hours of our research um, to pull up the numbers to help us understand what it is indeed that we're building so that we can actually come to the table with what we believe the end costs are going to be. So not all assessments are going to have to be uh, charged. It just depends on the project and the complexity. After the assessment is uh, provided to the client, then we seek their approval. And that's when the contracts get signed. That's when usually an initial de uh, deposit is placed down. And then we can begin our architecture and design phase. So once we understand what we're building, we can then start like blueprints of a house, right? You need to have the blueprints designed first before the builders can go in and start building. And then after that, we go into our development phase and you, the client, or your, your client that you bring into us, um, we give visibility on that. We, we provide these documentations and meet with them frequently throughout this entire process. After um, the development is done, then it goes into a testing phase, and then after the testing has been completed and everything looks to, appears to be running as it should, then we deploy the actual product live to the public. And beyond the deployment, we are also providing maintenance and support, and sometimes those support fees are monthly recurring fees, and we would be able to do revenue share on not just the development processes, but also on the monthly support recurring revenue model as well. So that is what we offer in a nutshell. Again, I just want you to be um, clear who we are as an entity. We are a, an augmented reality technology company at heart. That was where our core is. Our signature product is the Revealio augmented reality marketing tool, which you'll see in the Agora Marketplace. Let me go back to Agora. <clears throat> You'll see us in two places. You'll see us as the software development company, and then you'll also see us as the disruptive marketing company. So we are able to provide a couple of different services. So here we see apps and software development. Down here a little bit more, you'll see us as the disruptive video marketing company. And that is a beautiful, beautiful model, $27 to just get going a month to use that service. I, if you haven't checked that out already, I highly recommend you do because it will really take your business to the next level and provide you with that disruptive um, ability when you're out and about networking and trying to promote your business. People will, like, stop in their tracks and hang on your every word. So I think, Vince, at this point, um, I've shared with you the things I wanted to share, and we can take any questions perhaps, or if you feel like there's anything I didn't cover and you want to ask questions, please go ahead and do so. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, you can type them in or get ready to ask those. Um, I know we've got a number of people on the call here. 
And so when someone, what are some of the projects you guys have worked on, like, uh, for example, or like getting in the door, how would they start a conversation um, with people that want this? So sometimes these are uh, harder to find. You know, there's these are nooks and crannies. These are people that want to get an app developed or, you know, like, you know we have the websites offered by uh Franklin, so this has to do with a bigger uh, prospect of a client. For example, the $120,000 um, one that I'm working on, it, it's a medical doctor that wants to track uh, things that are going on with the patients and then have a whole flow inside, the, inside their system that would communicate with other offices. So there's a lot of customization that takes place. Plus, you know, apps are very big. So are there any mm-hmm. um, questions out there? Um, I'll go open it up. Let me get people off here just in case, or maybe you did a good job. <laughs> Let me double check this. So yeah, I've opened this up for you. Caleb, uh, Vince, can you hear me? Yeah, hey, Caleb, how you doing? Yeah, good, good. I just wanted to know um, the app development. Uh, we're looking at that, my wife and I, about another project. Um, what's the uh, – I didn't get all of that, but what's, what's this – the initial startup to uh, maybe even get the company to look toward uh, helping you to get an app developed. So if you are interested in a, a mobile app, um, that's great that you kind of know what, what you're thinking you want. And the mm-hmm. best thing you can do is to try and gather as much information about the details of what exactly you want that mobile app to do functionality-wise mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that when you come to the table to talk to us, we get a better understanding of where you want to go. And even if you, per se, don't have the knowledge within your own uh, resources to know how to kind of flesh that out, Mm -hmm. if you could find somebody else that has done something similar to what you want, it's very beneficial for us, for you to say, I want this to do this, 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 and this, sort Mm -hmm. of like, and then compare compare it to somebody else if you have the ability to do that. If you're building something that you know there's, and you've done your market research and there's nothing else built like it, but you know Mm -hmm. it's a brilliant model, then again, Mm -hmm. just try your best to even flesh out in a Word document or something what functionality. I mean, we're talking about the more detail you can bring to the table. Because like I mentioned, you know, it's like building a house. You can't just Mm -hmm. come to us and say, I want to build a three-bedroom, two-car garage house. It's right. just too big, and and we won't know where to go. We won't know how to help you, per se, but the more you can bring to us, I mean, we, we'll do our best to ask you questions, to pull mm-hmm. that information out of you, but, right. um, yeah, the best, the best thing you can do is come to the table. And in order to get started with us, right here on the Agora page under form, just click mm-hmm. here to start a software development inquiry. As soon as you fill that out, then mm-hmm. we know that you're, you're serious and you want to actually meet and discuss your project in more detail. So this right. is that form that I showed you here. It just gives us the basic, basic mm-hmm. start. We start real broad and then we meet. And then we, if we need to meet again, we'll hone in a little tighter because right. we want to do our best to be, you know, transparent and provide you the best assessment, realistic ex- assessment as possible so that you do understand technology it is. It, it's very expensive, but, it, but you, if you if you know and hone in on the details, so that we're not spinning any wheels and wasting any resources, then you're better off. Right. Right. Very good. Very good. Um, one last so thing. Just do a, uh, you guys. Yeah. You guys have been developing uh, these apps for quite some time now. When did you actually start? So Revealio, the company Revealio, started. I built my very first prototype back in 2012 in the augmented reality space. Um, I've been building apps for my own company, and I've even built web apps, which is like the e-commerce solution. We've been building since 2015. Now, now that we've been in the AR space for a while, we have been getting so many requests for people to build what they call custom solutions for their company specifically. So that's why we've decided to expand, and now we have a whole software division. And the CTO, the chief technology officer that is on our team, he brings with him 20 years of development experience and program management experience. So when it comes to building teams and scaling teams for larger clientele, he's the expert. 
they there's this thing called DevOps that is a it's a beautiful thing. It's almost like an orchestrator or a, a maestro that can lead yeah. an orchestra. That's mm-hmm. that's the quality and caliber of our CTO. And so wow. he's very well versed. And once we, you fill out or your client fills out that intake form, you will get to meet Alex, and you will hear him speak very eloquently about what the processes are and what more we need in order to build an intelligent assessment. It sounds exciting. Help. It's very yeah. exciting, and, and it's big. This is, this is big, big money. And, and just think about it. I mean, what goes into building the house? I mean, there's so many different systems, right? You've got the plumbing, you've got the electrical, you've got the framing, you've got all these different teams that come in and do their part of it all. And to have a company that you know and can trust that's going to actually take good care of you and your project, um, that's a beautiful thing to have. And also be able to do a little bit of a revenue share, which is, like I was telling Vince, this is a very rare thing. To find a company that actually is a high caliber integrity, that's who we are. We, we stand for integrity. We're heart-centered, veteran-owned. Um, but to find a company that's willing to share the revenue, that's mm-hmm. very, very rare. Right, Ben? Yeah, part of it is because it's, um, there are so many man hours that go into this. So you think, why is it so expensive? Because, you know, number one, the skill set to be able to do it. Number two, uh, you know, the going demand out there, uh, you know, some people charge quite a bit of money and they and they take the gobble all up just because of man hours and they have to also bring in other people to develop. And, I mean, you're talking just just tons and tons of man hours, at sometimes at 100, 150, 200 bucks an hour, sometimes even more just for development. And then, to, mm. but to have someone that has that ability to build these things is it's a lot of technology and make sure it works right. You know, when we were doing, when I first came into Agora, there was no dashboard, and the marketplace only had one tile. And then from the tile, you'd click to – we would have the individual um, vendor create their own page. Well, one thing that's really important in our industry is, you know, keeping your site its destination. So I had to work on making sure that Agora was a destination. We weren't taking people off the site but keeping them there. So we had to develop uh, the marketplace where we created all the tabs. I had to build like a mini, basically like a mini uh, website. And then we also did permission-based where we did the training tabs, the commission tabs, marketing tabs, things like that. So then um, took a lot of development there. And then also the dashboard, I had worked with another company that had a similar uh, thing where our team volume report where we could see our sales live, and I loved it. And I modeled it after that. So I had seen a couple things that I liked. And I implemented it, and that's why, you know, Agora has its own unique little ecosystem, and I made it where, you know, as much as possible, you don't have to leave our site. There's a couple areas, you know, when you get finally into it, you, you jump over, but, you know, we work more and more to make a destination. But I had, that, I had that blueprint inside of me, and I had to communicate that to uh, our software development team to make it happen and come alive. And we're always working on things. I mean, we're, we're still in development. Then we had a couple other questions out there. Uh, Vicki, are you there? And uh, let me see here. Vicki, can you talk on the phone? I know you've written a couple questions yes. here. Okay, so Vicki, uh, welcome to the call. And you. Uh, you have a couple questions, so go ahead and ask them now. Well, I have a, a client that um, runs a local speedway, um, and it's, it's picking up steam, and she wants – I mentioned to her that she should have an app. Um, it's quite um, successful, and so I thought why – um, I thought I would explore that, um, you know, to be able to purchase tickets and, well, I wrote a bunch of stuff here, view maps, uh, the schedules, help them find things da- um, downtown if they come here from out of town, you know, to work with the downtown association. So it would be like a kind of like, well, kind of like that. Yeah, uh, when it comes to um, providing people with the instant ability to connect to things, apps are really where it's at. But um, I don't know if you heard earlier on the call, one of the things that we're seeing a huge shift in is moving away from native apps. And let me explain what that means. Right now, um, a native app is when you have a – because iOS code is different from the code that requires for to be used for Android. Android is Correct. pretty much right. any device other than iPhone. Um, and so you have to have somebody, two different developers, because yeah. one speaks one language and the other one speaks another language. 
Well, what we're seeing a huge surge in, and we're very excited about this, is the ability to build what we call progressive web apps. It's a cross-platform technology that allows us to build one set of code that will deploy properly to either iOS or Android or, specific, or just stay out of um, – stay away from iOS and Android and just work within what we call a web app infrastructure so that it looks and feels on your phone as if it's an actual app rather than a website on your phone. It actually feel, looks and feels like a, an actual app on your phone, but it doesn't require you to download it. Right. You don't download it from Google Play. It's, yeah. So what we do with these new app assessments is we dis, we determine is the technology that is being requested to use, like I know right now, augmented reality, which is my baby, that's my, my <laughs> foundational technology, it's emerging tech. And so therefore it hasn't been around long enough to be able to be integrated well enough on the, for a web app. So we are at this juncture, kind of our hands are tied, that we are forced to create native apps with augmented reality incorporated in them. But just basic functionality apps can perhaps be cross-platform, which actually lowers the price point a lot. So we're excited to be able to offer that, and that's not something all companies are utilizing either. So, again, we are innovative, and we want to always make sure that whatever we build isn't going to be built and then two months later be outdated. So if you are interested or have your friend interested in coming to the table with some of those thoughts, then we can have that conversation. Does that answer your question, Vicki? So probably the best thing to do is get um, uh, just to do a consultation, go on there and just set up the time. Hey, Michelle, also I wanted to ask you about API integration. Can you go in a little bit, because that's kind of a big deal also. Can you explain some of that um, API? Yeah, so API integration is like, think of it uh, as the key master. <laughs> APIs are like the keys to opening doors to different systems. So like if you have a CRM system that's different from like your email marketing system or your uh, e-commerce system where your payment gateway is, um, some of those systems are very, they were created by different people and they don't integrate with each other by nature. They weren't developed by the same person. So you have to, um, some of these companies offer API integration and all you would need is somebody like a developer, some web developers, web designers are fairly, fairly well versed in the code necessary in order to implement an API integration into their site. But, again, if you need somebody a little bit more advanced, that's easy peasy, like, stuff that we can come in and help you out with, not a problem. API integration is the coding that needs to take place on the back end that makes one system communicate very well with this other system. And the way that the APIs are created by the um, native creator of that system, we, we are forced to, you know, to, to be, like, um, use the functionality that they built within their API. But some business models may require more than what their existing API offers, and that's where we could potentially come and do an assessment and see what it would take for us to build an enhancement to that API or build a, a, our own API to help you get exactly out of that connection that you need. Does that help? It's integrating. It's integrating and, and making systems communicate with, with one another that weren't all built by the same creator. Yeah, so if, if you're new to some of this stuff and you're – and that's what I love about Agora is we, uh, we do these calls. We bring in CEOs and we bring in these opportunities, and some people don't know much about this, and so sometimes you, um, you can't get a buyer or you can't get a sell if you, if you don't have anything to offer. But opening you up to what we have here with API, mobile apps, and this software development, it's, it's a huge world, and it's a big money-making world, and it's so needed. And there's companies out there that, you know, especially new companies or existing companies, I mean, all types of companies out there, all the way from heating and air to us, I mean, I'm like, you'd be amazed how much software development is needed. People want maybe a whole cell system or some back office reporting system or some really unique app. And the, the, it, the sky is the limit is as far as potential of people out there that this really will come into play with. So we're excited to ha be able to offer this now. And, you know, one thing about Agora is 
I had another company, but he just couldn't handle the volume that we would bring to him. Um, or some companies, like she said, don't offer the ability to make commissions. And, you know, they're, they're handing out a good size chunk. Then you look in the back office as far as the commission go. And uh, as they get paid, you get paid, and, we, you know, it goes into the comp plan. So this is a huge opportunity for us, commissions, ability, uh, if you need it yourself, you know companies. This just opens up a whole new area for you. That's why I was excited to have this happen. So with that, are there any other questions out there? And hopefully Vicki got her question answered again. I don't know if she's back in there. I did. Look, Thank I'm looking you. on the questions. Okay, good. Yeah, I just want so to put one yeah. little caveat out there too, Vince, that for those of you who aren't tech savvy, um, but you know that there's got to be a better way to do this or this or that. You know, n luckily we're part of the Agora family, and you can come to us and ask those questions, and we'll help you. And and usually it does. It, it always comes back to, oh, well, you just need something built here, and we can help you with that. We can do an assessment of what that would take, and, and we can get you off and running. We exist to reduce frustration and improve efficiencies and to help you be more forward thinking in your business model so that you don't end up being left in the lurch because you ended up getting something built that was pretty much five years old by the time it was built. One, Michelle, one can you click question. on the uh, contact uh, tab? I'm sorry, Caleb. Michelle, yeah, click on the con. Yeah, click on that. And then, Caleb, you have something to add? You know, I just wanted to uh, ask, is, is there uh, any type of uh, verbiage that you could share with us that uh, might help us to drum up business for your company? You know, I can develop something for you. Um, if, yeah, I can try and have something to you for sure by the mid, mid to the late part of this week um, because I am, I told Vince, I said this new software division, you know, marketing it <laughs> is, um, is something that we're new, we're getting going. So, yes, I can provide yeah. you with some. Some marketing okay. materials. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're when you're in the business room, you're going to run across this more and more you're, when you get out there and you're working with companies. And I know, I know there was a company I'm working with here in Agora, and I said, yeah, and, I, and this is what I was referring to one of my other guys that did app development. And I mentioned app development. He goes, oh my gosh, because we need to talk. I got something I need to develop. There are so many people out there that have an idea, an app, or something they want to do, and, they, and sometimes they don't know where to go, where to get started, who to trust. So bringing Revealio and, you know, Michelle, just her customer service is phenomenal. Um, you know, you see what she did with her own app with Revealio. That, that was a mastermind, what she has going on there. For her to pull that one off, you can see what she can do. You, you're looking at a live example. So for her to be able to, you know, she's on the cutting edge of something, that augmented reality, that's a very cutting edge. So she can help people develop ideas just like she did her own, help them develop. And then so Michelle right here, if they want to get something going, they can call you directly down there or email you at info. Those are hours. And then yeah, so if just, you want to just, call and just talk to her prior to, and then if you do have an idea, you can just click on that, you know, click here to start yeah. a software development That's partnership. That's really the best place or. to start, Vince, yeah. is, the, uh, is to, if you guys could please just always start with that in development inquiry because, um, as you can imagine, uh, we get a lot of phone calls, and it, it, this really helps us out so much. Even if you just have an idea and you want to flesh it out, start with that development inquiry, and uh, it will get you logged into our system as well. Great. Okay. Well, Are there I, any I, other there, calls, or I think we covered everything? I also All right. Well, thank you, Michelle. That yeah. That, can I just add one more thing that we really do really work with people and their budget. So um, there really is no small business that's too small and there's um, no large business that's too large. So uh, we are your full service agency. We, we will uh, we'll take good care of you and your clients. Promise. Thank you, Michelle. Great call. All right.